you want to join us? So this is my third attempt at making a video blog, a vlog. Mm, I'm still in Tokyo, so I guess the stuff that I'm going to be talking about is mostly centered around being in Japan and yeah, the culture there. So today I thought of um, doing something related to the word kawaii. So when I say the word kawaii, well, what do you usually think of? Which is cute, right? Like, oh, she's kawaii, man. Like, oh, she's cute. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, yeah, that will, that will be what a mm, tourist would think, right? If you're not actually Japanese. But from, um, yeah, because I was watching this video, days ago on YouTube and it was talking about like yami kawaii fashion um, so yami means darkness so it's kind of like your average Harajuku mm, Harajuku typical fashion that you usually see in Harajuku sorry and only the, the only difference is um, like the themes and the colors are mostly centered around like really dark matters like um, suicide or like isolation from society um, depression yeah and yeah and apparently it's getting really popular that's why someone made a video about it i suppose and yeah and i was just watching this video and it just kind of reminded me how like the word kawaii and the word cute can have like the same kind of dictionary meaning but it's like totally different if you think about it because if someone tells you you're cute like in english like okay you're cute uh, or like imagine like if a guy says that to you right like hey you're cute right it kind of doesn't really mean anything and sometimes it can even mean like what do you call it the urban dictionary meaning right like you're uh, ugly but adorable <laughs> right? uh, but for Japanese people when they say something is kawaii I would think they would mean that oh this thing is really lovable right because I was looking at the kanji characters like I was thinking about the kanji characters kanji is so kanji is if you're not familiar with it kanji is the Chinese characters for Mm. <laughs> I need to explain this better. So kanji is Japanese words taken from Chinese influence, like influenced by Chinese characters. Yeah. So the kanji for kawaii is it's actually the same. Like it's literally literally the same as the Chinese characters, which means ke ai. And ke ai would mean if you translate it directly, it literally means can be loved or can yeah, it can either mean can be loved or be or possible to love. Like you can love that person or that person can be loved. So yeah, with this in mind, I was relating it I wanna uh, I wanna just relate it back to the Yami Kawaii thing. Which I actually think is a really good um, trend, I would say. I mean, even though it's sent like it, it's, it has a weird theme to it. Like it's kind of like they're celebrating like all the dark thoughts that they have, which is why they can form this like community where they can belong somewhere. And yeah, which is why I don't understand why people are kind of critical of. I mean, some people, right? Not everyone. You know, some people are kind of critical of it, saying, "Oh, we are, you're." It's like you're encouraging, like, suicidal thoughts, you know, among teenagers, blah blah blah. But it's not right. It's not about that. It's just giving them somewhere to belong, right? So they don't kill themselves. <laughs> and it's also kind of telling them, like, 
hey, you can still think about weird stuff like this, but because we're all humans, right? And still be loved, and you're still kawaii, right? Um, yeah, so I think in Japan, the word kawaii is more than just like an empty phrase that you know, people in English-speaking countries usually use it for, like, oh my god, this is so cute, but it doesn't mean anything, right? But in Japanese usage, it's like, hey, I can love this, or this, uh, yeah, this thing deserves to be loved, right? Yeah, um, so I guess that's it for today. It's a pretty short one. I just wanted to share my thoughts on the word kawaii. So next time when you come to Japan, if someone calls you kawaii, don't take it lightly. They're telling you that they, it's possible they might love you. <laughs> yep, and you deserve to be loved, right? We all do. And that's, yeah, that's about it. And if you're actually paying attention to what I'm saying up to this point, you are definitely kawaii. <laughs> All right. <laughs>